questions, asking questions. We have Coach Mario Rico and freshman Gabriel Flores. How is how you guys doing? How you doing, Malcolm? Doing good. Yeah, yeah. Uh, first question we have coming up soon. So, uh, how's the season going so far? Um, we started uh, our season a few weeks ago. Uh, at this point, we're three and three. Um, we, we haven't played any of our ACC matches yet. We play we play a, a match this weekend against FAU. This is a match that we had to reschedule because of rain. Mm -hmm. uh, when they when they were here the last time, uh, we play at three three o'clock. We're looking forward to that that match. Uh, which will be the last match before we, we start our, um, our ATC schedule. Mm -hmm. And how's it been going for you? Uh, I mean, the season's great. Um, as a freshman, it's very uh, competitive. The season's very different from what I used to play in the, in the tour, in the junior tour. Mm -hmm. um, it's a different atmosphere. You're playing with the team, um, especially in tennis, it's an individual sport. So, I mean, it's really fun, it's really energetic, and I mean, for now, I'm really enjoying it. Uh, we have a comment from J.P. Kane, Coach Rico. Did you ever play professionally? Yes, I did. I played uh, for almost ten years on the on the professional tour uh, right after college. I, I I played the the Grand Slam tournaments. I made it to the main draw uh, of the U.S. Open, and uh, I got to travel the world and, and gather many experiences uh, from every everywhere I went. And uh, this is an experience that I that I that I that I relish and uh, that I try to um, uh, I try to share with uh, with our team. Mm -hmm. Comment from K Man: Who is showing the most improvement on the tennis squad? Well, I think uh, Gabriel Flores right here, our freshman. Uh, Gabriel, um, he's uh, extremely talented. He's uh, uh, um, for for you guys that haven't gotten to to watch him play, he's uh, he has one of the most powerful forehands I've I've seen uh, in college, and he's only a freshman. He really can hit that ball hard. I mean, with so much power. And um, you know, in tennis, um, in order to be really good, you have to have a a, a great weapon. Uh, he he has that. Right now, we're working on uh, on on his uh, whole uh, entire game. Um, we're we're putting together a really a really good uh, game plan for him, and he's coming around. Um, Gabriel will be. Um, he will have a, a tremendous future with uh, with our tennis team. Comment from all about the U. Any players on the team have a trick shot just to show off? Um, I think Waylon Chin. Um, he's a senior on our team. He likes to use his hands a lot. So I mean, he likes a lot to drop shots like slider, you know. So I mean, he does that a lot, and he's pre he's pretty good at it. So yeah, I think that's a sign shot for him. Also, we have Keith Crowley, a senior on our on our team. He's from South Africa. He's uh, he's not for hitting. He's known for hitting some. Uh, shots between his legs, mm -hmm. and it's uh, a pretty acrobatic move. And uh, you know, normally you're not supposed to try to make a, sh a shot like this, especially in in, a, in an important situation of the match. But uh, he's pulled off a, a couple of match, uh, a couple of shots in, in important matches. I recall two years ago against FSU, he he hit a shot between his legs, uh, won the point, and, um, and actually it might have been on match point. It turned out. It turned out to be a huge, a huge momentum changer for us, and uh, mm -hmm. yeah, this is this is, this shot is something I will never forget. <laughs> Coming from Italian Kane, when I grew up in the '60s, it was taboo for tennis players to weight train. What type of resistance training does your team members do? Gabriel, why don't you, why don't you tell him a little um, bit about it? On the off season, we uh we did uh, more weights than now. We did a lot of running. Um, but endurance, a lot of a lot of running to catch some air and and getting in uh, in shape. Um, the weight that we did back then, we did three times a week. We did weights. They were pretty powerful squats, um, bench, and all of that to gain muscle. Now that we're on the season, uh, we don't do we, we do weights, to, uh, but it's more like prehab. It's more to uh, prevent injuries, to 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 keep the the, the muscles going, but it's, it's not to pump up your your body. Um, now the running part, we do a lot, a lot more of a agility and explosiveness, um, short steps because that's what we implement on the court when, when we play. Uh, 
Comment from Tennis W. Coach, who will win a match, you or women's coach Paige? <laughs> you know, I have to say Paige has uh, great volley. She's, uh, she's very good at the net. And uh, if I let her come in and, uh, and dictate pl play from, from the net, I think she would, uh, she would take me down. But uh, <laughs> I think if I keep her at the baseline, I think I would get the best of her. Mm. Comment from Eric. Coach Rico, how do you feel you stack up against the other ACC opponents? We are about to find out. I think we have uh, we have five seniors on our team. We're we're very talented. We have uh, a great freshmen, and uh, and uh, we're we're looking for, forward to that competition. I think uh, I think we're gonna we're gonna surprise uh, some some teams at the top. Uh, Virginia is uh, ranked number one in the nation, but uh, we feel like we can compete against anyone at this point. Coming from Corey Mo. Does Malcolm look like he has the potential to be a good tennis player? <laughs> um, Malcolm, the, the football player? Nah, he's not yeah. with me. Oh, well, let me. Let me ask that one, Gabriel. Um, I've watched um, maybe the last uh, five or, or six uh, uh, home, game, um, home games, and of course they, they have all been very, very close. And, um, and, uh, uh, and uh, they, they have been exciting, exciting basketball games that I've enjoyed with, with my whole family and, and, and truly um, when, when, uh, when, when you have the ball, when you're driving to the hoop, I, mm -hmm. I feel really confident and uh, I think um, you know, point guards are, are one of the be uh, some of the best athletes in the entire world and I think you would be a really good tennis player as well. Thank you. Uh, to answer that question, I think I'll be really good too because I'm multi-talented so uh, don't doubt me. Uh, comment from guest. Gabriel, how is it that you came to choose UM? Um, choosing UM, um, it was a very, basically choosing a university, uh, when UM came into my options, it was uh, one direction. I mean, I had a, a lot of good offers out there, a lot of from top schools, top NCAA schools, but I knew um, when UM came into the offer, I came for a visit, and I just, I, I just fell in love with it. I mean, the, the location, the what it has to offer, the, the um, Athletics, academics, everything, and for me, is is just the perfect deal right here. So I can't complain. Coming from Bob, Gabe, what is your favorite type of specialty shot in competition? Um, as Mario said, my best shot is my forehand. It's a pretty big shot, pretty heavy. Uh, I like to use it a lot, especially inside out and inside in, or uh, using uh, cross court angles and then changing it down the line. I mean, you use. You, 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 have to use it intelligently. Uh, I mean, when you mix it up, it when when I mix it up, it it helps a lot. Like, it's very it's a big shot. To hit. Comment from T Dog, Gabriel. Who do you model your tennis game after? Who, sorry. Who do you model your tennis game after? Um. Well, I model a lot of people. Uh, I think uh, maybe Verdasco. He's a Spanish player. He's a lefty though, but. His forehand, he he likes to dictate a lot with his forehand. Uh, I, I think I, I'm similar to that game. My backhand is just a n neutral shot. With my forehand, I go big fast. So I think Fernando Verdasco will be a good, good person. Coming from you, the best. Who can serve the fastest on the team and how fast? Um, probably Keith Crawley, uh, the South African. He, he's pretty big, pretty tall. Um, he can serve big. <laughs> <laughs> From the same person, comment, you the best. Can anyone on the team beat you, coach? I think uh, <laughs> I would have a hard time beating any any of the guys uh, on the team right now. They're they're in great shape. We are conditioning coach, Coach Klitsch, uh, and um, got him in great shape. I would probably, I might be able to take a few games here and there, but on the long run, two out of three set match, you know, two hours, I mean, gosh, these guys can run all day. and. Mm -hmm. I don't think I'm up to that anymore. But, uh, Coach, yeah. you look like you still in shape. Well, oh, thank you, Mark. <laughs> Comment from All About the You. Coach, what's the main thing you try to teach in your coaching philosophy? Well, I like my uh, our players to be um, mentally tough. I like to uh, I would I like him uh, to fight for every point. Mm -hmm. I like him to to have uh, to have a, a, a pattern where where they stick to it and they are consistent and. Um, and uh, th this is uh, this is uh, pretty much uh, my everyday job, you know, that they stay consistent with the 
with their game that they don't they, they don't improvise last minute that uh, they, they, they that they stick to their patterns coming from tennis w coach can you give malcolm a motivational speech to beat clemson on sunday <laughs> <laughs> malcolm <laughs> you know i i love basketball mm -hmm. and um, i follow all all um athletics uh with a passion mm -hmm. and um and when I when I watch your team, uh, I'm I'm so proud and uh, and I feel like I'm I'm out there, you know, on, on the court playing or coaching or coaching, and I feel like I'm I'm part of it. Mm. But um, but uh, but basketball is really really close to to my heart, mm. and uh, and it, it is special when you guys are able to to bring a W, especially in this conference where every 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 team on the conference is good and every team is a, a huge rival of us. And uh, and uh, when you guys win a W for us, man, I, I feel like I want to hug each one of you. <laughs> so and and I, I don't know you guys very well, but I, I, and I wish I, I did. But um, uh, I'm, I'm very proud of of your of your efforts, mm -hmm. um, uh, playing with so much heart and so much uh, character on the court that um, that really is a, is a joy to to be at your game. So best of luck this weekend against Clemson and mm -hmm. and. Uh, See if you can get that W for us, man. Thank you. I really appreciate that. Uh, comment from Scott Z. I tried to go to the net, but the ball hit me in the face. How do I fix that? <laughs> get me, I'll let you answer that one. Um, well, me, I don't, I don't like to come to the net a lot. Um, I'm one of the guys that just likes to hit winners from the back with my big forehand. When I come to the net, I, I suffer kind of the same situation. Um, I'm not really that good with my reactions. So I kind of stay back a little. Uh, basically, what I've been working on that is split step when the other guy hits the ball and just stay low. And that has helped me to prevent some of the uh, balls to hit me. So I mean, um, yeah. <laughs> I, I, I may add, don't let that spot, uh, stop you from coming in. Um, from coming in, get to the net, get really close to the net, and uh, make the play. <laughs> Take one more question. Uh, from comment, Johnny, Gabe, what's it like when players like Andy Murray come to Miami to train? Do you get to talk to them? Um, yeah, I mean, it's a very, for us, uh, college athletes, um, to see a professional, like an idol like that, some, something that you seek for, that does you in a professional level, it's very special. And to get to see them come to your facilities and train around you, and get, yeah, you, you get to, so, like, for, for example, um, La Penti. He's, uh, he's in the tour also. He was, he's here right now training, and I mean, we, we train with them, we interact with them, we, we talk, they share our, our experience, and for us that's very important, and it's very, it's very key for the motivation, because most of us, I don't, uh, for, in all the sports that come to college, after college we seek to play the pro, the, the pro level, and uh, to have that atmosphere around us keeps up going and keeps up moving, so yeah, it's very, it's very cool to have that. Well, guys, uh, appreciate this interview, and uh, thank you for all the support and all your questions. Thank you very much for having us here. Thank, thank you, Malcolm. Thank you.